Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and welcome back to my channel. Thanks to everyone for being here. Thanks to Almighty God for bringing us here safe and sound and in good health. Guys, I have some information for you again. And this information will be based on who should be making the first move. And I was reading some comments and especially from my good friend there, Leonardo. And it made me want to do this message for you because it's an issue. And sometimes it's us as divine feminines or divine masculines that hold ourselves back because we're unsure of what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Or just in general even if we should do anything so look at this awesome <laughs> so guys if you are wondering who should be making the first move one two three it goes like this and it also depends at, at, at what stage you are at on your journey. And again, there are no literal stages, but because for a lack of a better word and just to label it so we understand what we are dealing with, what we are saying, we're going to say stages. When you're just starting out, when you just, met your, when you just meet your divine masculine or your divine feminine, you both will be in your divine masculine and your divine feminine energy playing the roles you're supposed to play when separation occurs that's when you'll see which energy you have that needs balancing within you and that's one of the reasons why there are men who are feminines and there are women who are masculines. Because the energy that you need to balance more, the energy that you need to understand more, that you need to use more, that you need to go back to being balanced. So the both, so both masculine and feminine energy can be balanced with you. That's the energy that you will fall into. So if you're a man who needs to take control of their feminine energy, you may love too much. You may love too easily. You may give all your heart to everyone, not leaving anything for yourself. You may have been the caretaker for your family. You may be the giver. You may have too much feminine energy that's being portrayed. So you fall into the feminine energy. And again, it is explained in my book to a wider extent so you can understand why a man can have feminine energy and a woman can have masculine energy. So we, have, we as feminines, we have to work on our feminine energy in making it balance with our masculine energy. The divine masculines need to work on their masculine energy so that it is balanced with the divine feminine so they are not being too macho and they learn to become more sensitive hence balancing the feminine energy within and the feminine they will learn not to be too sensitive and learn to balance the masculine energy with the feminine energy now, when you're past the stage of that first separation, and 
and you understand what you're going through. You know what you're going through. You're not scared. You're not running around thinking you're crazy. You're not just trying to find information. You, are, you actually have some sense about what's happening to you and what's going on in your life. And what's going on with you and this person. And you can say, okay, this is happening. So when you're there, when you have the understanding, then this will apply to you. Being a masculine doesn't mean that you're supposed to make the first move. Being a feminine, feminine doesn't mean that you're supposed to wait around for the masculine to make the first move. There are roles that we play in society that still applies on the twin flame journey. As a man, you are to know when to take that first step. You are to be in your power to take charge because that's what emperors do. They take charge. They stand on their own two feet. They protect. So if you're a man in the feminine energy, in order to balance that masculine energy and the feminine energy, you need to be more masculine. So in other words, you need to do what men are supposed to do. You need to act how men are supposed to act according to society. You need to be the man. You need to be the masculine. You need to be the emperor. Even though you're in the feminine energy. Because what you're doing is learning to control both. Because being a man in the feminine energy, you're lacking the use of your masculine energy, of your masculinity. As I said, you may be too sensitive too caring, always being used by others. You are not rash, you're not, you're not, however you will see a man, just blunt stuff like that, however a man behaves in society, whatever. So if you want to make the first move as a man who is a feminine, You make that first move. That's a part of you balancing your masculine and feminine energy. That's a part of you acting based off of your masculine energy. Right? Whether it's on the twin flame journey or in society, it is still up to the man to say, do you want to go out or will you marry me or something like that? So when you're at the stage of union and you're so comfortable within yourself, you're loving yourself, you know you feel like you're ready to be with your person, your woman who is a feminine, who is a masculine, sorry, your woman who is a masculine that's away from you that you haven't seen in a while. You can pick up that phone and make that call because you're making this the first step now because you are the man, you're the emperor. Your energies are balanced. You know how to handle your masculine and feminine energy. So if you want to make that first move and send that text message, do it. Because your woman in the masculine energy is still a woman. So they are still going to be waiting on you to make that first move. So you're going to be sitting back and say, okay, they're the masculine. They should be making the first move. Hell no, you're the man. Do not get it twisted. You're still the man. So while they are 10,000 miles from you waiting on you, the man, to make the first move, You are here 
as the man in the feminine energy waiting on the woman to make the first move. And this is the most important part. When you're ready to make that first move, as I always tell you, always ask God first. And then you'll know if you should do what it is that you wanted to do. Whether you want to send that text, whether you want to make that phone call, whether you want to go visit. So you should always ask God. You want to make that first move? You say, God, I want to send my person a text tomorrow. Or next week. Show me that purple frog if I should send my person that text message. And trust me, if you should send that person that text message, you'll see that purple frog at the right time. And when you ask your question, do not go around looking for a purple frog. Do not be turning your head every step that you go to try and find that purple frog. Because when you force the issue, you will get disappointed. Because you didn't wait for your answer, you went and seek, seek it out instead. Same with the feminines. If you, as a feminine, as a woman, want to make that first move, ask God. Always ask God if you should make that move. You can never go wrong. And as I always tell you, ask for something specific that when you see it, you know that that's your answer. And when you ask that question, you are to just forget Forget that you asked that question. Forget totally. Just go about your day. Just doing your own business. And God will show you the answer. If you are supposed to do that thing. Now if you are not. Then you won't see that sign. Then you won't see that sign. And when you don't see that sign. That's because what you wanted to do is not in God's plan. One, two, three. So you may even want to send a text message. And I was speaking to someone about this too. And when you ask God if you should send that text message and you get your answer. And when you send that text message or you, the phone call or you that visit, whatever you end up being disappointed. But then it turns out that that disappointment is a blessing to your person. Because what happens is that that disappointment that you got may have triggered something in them to act differently towards you or to change their mind about something just because you acted. But again, if you should act, God will show you that sign. Psalm 1333. So you'll be divinely guided by God. So even though you are supposed to do or, or take that action, sometimes it's going to be disappointing. It's going to be dis a disappointing result for you. But it's going to be a trigger for your person to act positively towards you. Maybe they're going to change their mind about something. Maybe they were going to take another step away from you, but then they got that text. And since they still don't know what to do, they either don't respond or they may respond negatively. But then that text that you said that you sent saved them from stepping away from you because they saw you were still interested, you were still there. So not all disappointment is negative. But you will know in your situation. If you should sit back and wait for somebody to make a move for anything to happen in your life. Nothing will ever get done. 
nothing will ever get done. I know they say that the Divine Feminine is supposed to hold back and wait for the masculine to come to them. Yes, that's true. But if you're working on yourself, if you are learning to be stronger, if you're learning to be more positive, if you're learning to be more stern, if you're learning to take control of your own life, then you taking that step is a part of healing. But you will know if you should make that step once you ask God and God will show you and give you your answer. So if you're a divine masculine, if, no, if you're a man who is a divine feminine and you want to make that first move because you're tired of waiting around, you know you're ready, you set up your life. Everything is in control. You're loving yourself. You're doing you. You have your home set up and ready and waiting for your feminine. I mean, for your woman. <laughs> Even though you're the, you're the man in the feminine energy, don't forget that you are a man. Not because you're in the feminine energy means that you're not a man. So do not forget that you are a man. And if you want to make that first move, go ahead. But ask God first. And he will give you your answer. So there are no mistakes, even if it seems like it's a disappointment. You don't know what's going on on your person's side. You don't know what God is doing. But his plan never fails. Even if you don't understand his plan. He knows what he's doing and that's why you should leave everything up to him. That, and that's why when you want to do anything, you should ask him before you do it. Because he knows which way you should go, up or down, back or forth. And he will guide you in the right direction. So who should make the first move? I would say the person who wants to, but you've got to ask God first. Look at this example. You're an empress, and I'm just going to use this as an example. You're an empress sitting at a bar, right? And this emperor comes in. So you're both loving yourself. You have both worked on yourself. So now you'll feel that people should come towards you because you're emperor and you're the empress. So you're saying in yourself, I shouldn't approach anybody. Nobody should, should I shouldn't approach anybody. Everybody should approach me. But look at this. If you both sit there at the bar, just looking at each other, and in your mind, you're saying, you should approach me. No, you should approach me because I'm the empress. I'm the emperor, so you should approach me. People approach me. I don't approach them because I love myself enough. Now, you tell me who is going to make the first move. Nobody will because you're both expecting people to approach you. So somebody has got to be brave enough to make that first move. And especially if you're the man. Why would you sit there and wait for a woman to approach you? You need to get in your energy. You're in the divine feminine energy, men. But do not forget that you are a man. Okay, guys? Do not forget that you are a man. And you are in this feminine energy so you can work on not being too sensitive, knowing to, when to make that first move, knowing when to stand in your power.
balancing things out. So if you want to make that first move, make that first move. I've made the first moves a lot of times. Sometimes I got shut down and then I figured out it was for my best. Because it always worked out. And because I always ask God before I, I take that step. So as I was saying to you, it may be disappointing, but it's always for an appointment on the other side. So you don't have to sit down and wait for somebody to come towards you. You just got to make sure that you are doing the right thing. You're taking the right steps. And the way to do that is to ask the only person that has your life written, that knows every single step that you should take. And that's Almighty God. Now when you get your answer, you can go ahead. And always never put out an expectation. Never expect a reaction. Never expect anything, 2121. Never expect anything. You want to send that text message that you ask, you get your answer, just send the text message and leave it there. Yeah, it's like that song just came up. Leave it there, leave it there. Why don't you leave your burden there? Take your burdens, take it to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. That's all you got to do. All your burdens, all your questions, take it to God. Let him give you the answers. And when you take your action, just leave it. Because he told you what to do. So now you do what he tells you to do. And then you just leave it there. Don't expect anything. Because when you expect, then you get disappointed. Because it never worked out the way that you want it to. But it is supposed to work out the way God wants it to, not you. And that's why this journey is a spiritual connection. So if you never understood where spirituality came in, two, three, four, know you're getting it. So if you're asking, you're sitting there and you're wondering who should make the first move. Anybody can. Feminine or masculine can. And if you're the masculine who is a man, who, if you're the man who is a feminine, I need to get this straight. If you're a man who is a feminine, do not forget that you are a man and learn to stand in your power. That's one of your wounds that you need to heal as a man who is in the feminine energy. That's how you will balance the masculine and the feminine within you when you can control both. When you know when to use both. Or should I say either. 2332. Anyways guys, I do hope you learned something from this. If you don't understand, leave that comment. Love you guys. Thanks for your support. And please... I'll be uploading this message also on the masculine channel because not everybody who is on my twin D is on my masculine. Not everyone who is on my masculine is on my twin D. So if you see the two messages, that's the reason. But anyways, thank you guys for your support. And I love you and I'll see you later. Oh, today's, today's what? Friday? Friday. Leo, your message is tonight. I'll see you later, guys. Love you.